what the monkey man for us is is right it's like that that symbol of the other that can be placed in any context so it's not uh, strictly a, a nostalgic thing but it's a uh, it could be a representation of the of a mythical past in that sense i'm doing i did all the field recordings and then we go around and actually like when i'm walking around particularly like i have full sight and vision but then it's like i got my big headphones on that's like then only then i started like noticing and realizing the the sounds of the different birds and all that yeah so i guess it's quite essential and important to portray all that and include it in the composition as well the the kind of thing that um interests me is the idea of juxtaposition so when you take something that conventionally doesn't uh signal into what nada does for example like computer graphics and see what kind of interesting um combinations come up to me i think i have a uh, my own set of like uh, images in my head like like the idea of a uh, uh, in malay they call it orang bunian or i don't know in english they call it what small people orang bunian is rather invisible invisible uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the idea of that that whole idea of orang bunian so i was playing with the idea of like uh, to to conceal myself but yet to reveal myself the 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 kind of mystery yeah yeah i think it's too easy to just get a monkey suit and wear it become a monkey man i think it's more of like a an imagined uh mythical uh character that we were trying to create mm. and also like by like having it, uh, some kind of a uh, contemporary context as well like we didn't want it to be too indicative of nature but more of the other like a psychological concept of the other I don't think it's uh it's about technology soaring nature it's about like the symbolic uh swallowing the literal. So we have like the mythological form of the monkey man that's larger than the representational form of it. And that kind of like takes over the space of the the film and takes over the space of where these characters are inhabiting in space uh, which is the uh, Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. Uh. But like how how the people how and what the people make of it I think that's the most important part you can take the sound you can take the sights but you can take all of that like in a vacuum without encountering the people speaking to them and seeing what they are doing towards the end we want to kind of like break with representation and go into more um kind of mythical symbolic space so when safwan in the clip like finally encounters the monkey uh monkey man i think there would be um in his mind some kind of like a uh, psychological break and then you enter the symbolic space where the where these creatures are, are 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 more real than real but also having said that like the the monkey man itself as a as a as a mythology isn't isn't something that is very documented so we have a lot of room to kind of play with the images and the kind of uh, representation that we wanted to do with it